Hello, welcome to a, another guitar lesson with me, Kev M. Um, today we're going to talk about tuning the guitar. We need to obviously have the guitar fully in tune for we'll play it and practice, otherwise it's just not going to sound correct. Sound a load of rubbish. Um, so just very quickly, we're just going to go through what each string is called. So, because obviously when you're tuning it, you need to know which string you're tuning at that time. So the top string, the thickest one, that's an E string, so it sounds like real dense and thick. Okay, so that's your E string. Then it goes A, which is the second one down. Third one down is D. Fourth is G. Fifth is B. And the bottom one is E again. So there's two E strings, obviously a bottom and a low, or a low and a high. Um, so then that and that, even though they sound very different in pitch, they're actually the same note. You're playing exactly the same note. So I've got two E strings. So basically, to tune the guitar, you're going to need a tuner. Um, you can get different types of tuner, guitar tuners. Um, usually like a little box thing and it's got a little built-in microphone and you'll hit the string and it'll tell you on the scale how close you are to being in tune or not. Um, I found that the easiest and best way to tune your guitar is using an app and it's called the Guitar Tuner app but it's spelled T-U-N-A like the fish, Guitar Tuner. It's free, you just download it on Android or iStore or whatever it's called for Apple and it's really simple, you don't even have to press any buttons on the app, it's got a built-in microphone on your, on your phone, um, you do the e, e string and it'll show you how far away you are from it and what you do you see these keys here, let's even get a good look properly. This first one is your E, that's your A, that's your D, and it goes round to that one for your G, and you've got your B, and you've got your E. So it goes round like that. You might have a guitar where all six are on the top, especially an electric guitar, and it's the same order, E, A, D, G, B, E. So what you do is you just, you've got to just gently turn this, because it's quite sensitive, so if you go in, giving it big licks on it, you're just going to end up never getting it in tune because you're going to go past where you need to be basically. So you just do it in small increments, play the note, turn the key until the dial is in the middle. It, the, the app, if you're using the app it tells you anyway, in, in fact any tuner will tell you when you've, you've got it in tune, but it's in the middle, it'll light up and make a little noise and that means you've got your guitar in tune. Um, you don't. Uh, I can't stress how important it is not to keep turning this like crazy. If you go too far and tighten it too much, you can end up actually snapping one of your strings and stuff like that. And you'll just get frustrated because obviously you think, why aren't I getting it in tune? But it's got really small, just takes a little bit of patience. You soon get used to it, it takes about five minutes or something. So that's, you, you have then got your guitar in tune.